having completed the first drawing let's go for the second task so in this this is the task that we have to draw here the scale that has to be followed is 3 to 1 which means we are going to enlarge it so the 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters becomes 90 millimeters whereas all these 15s will become 45 so the overall height here which is 45 times 3 it is going to become 135 millimeters now the drawing has to be drawn on an a3 paper so what i did was i made use of the page layout which is shown here and you can see that the border is already drawn which i have already drawn drawing the border for a3 paper is already discussed in the previous videos you can go to my playlist on the previous videos and you can always watch it the scale of this particular drawing is 3 is to 1 so i am writing as 3 is to 1 here so now let's start the drawing right uh, i'll place the drawing here for your reference so let me start drawing it the horizontal line is where i'll be starting so let me first draw the horizontal lines i'll lock it <coughs> and then the horizontal line has to be 90 millimeters so i'll draw 90 millimeters from here okay that's 90 millimeters let me unlock it I'll go to the vertical position. I have placed it in vertical position. I lock this scale. Now I have to draw 13.5 centimeters or 135 millimeters. So likewise, I'll draw from here, then 4.5. Having drawn the vertical line, I'm going to switch the T square like this and then I'll be drawing the horizontal lines. So place it exactly, lock it, and then draw the horizontal line, which will be for 90 millimeters. Again, the next position, lock it, oh sorry, a little bit like this. Ninety. Again, 90. Switch. We'll go here and then draw the straight line. We are done with all the lines. Now, these lines here, these two horizontal lines, had to be dotted line, but by mistake, I have drawn it solid. It is okay, I can always erase. Now, the two horizontal lines which are to be marked here and here are dotted lines. So let's mark the dotted lines here. Likewise, here also it has to be dotted lines now there are let's draw the inclined lines we have inclined lines from here to here likewise and then the next inclined lines inclined line the next inclined line is from here That's the entire drawing. After completing the drawing, do not forget to draw the extension lines and the dimension lines. So we draw it like this. Complete the arrows arrows have to be arrowhead has to be pointed
that's it your drawing has been completed